got two things to tell you. So, uh, Wonder and Wanda. Yep. That's a dock. Oh. So it's stuck. Oh. And uh, this is my pond. It's not a river? No. And that's not a boat? And no. That's why it was hard. Very hard. Ugh. Yeah. So hard. Very hard. Yeah. Uh, you know what? What? You know what we talked about last week? We talked about the kingdom of heaven and how everybody's welcome. That's right. And you follow Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. When you follow Jesus, yep. it's going to be very hard. Hard? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering about that because I was reading in the Bible and Jesus sent his disciples on a trip. What's a disciple? Oh, again? the disciples are Jesus' friends. Right. People who follow Jesus. Right. When he was on earth, he had 12. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you ran 11, out of fingers. 12. Okay. Yeah, 12. 12. He had 12 friends, and they went, and Jesus said, go and tell people and do the things I do. And so he did. they did. But guess what? What? They couldn't take with them extra clothes, oh. no money, and no food. You know what? What? They were supposed to get help from others. Oh. And sometimes people were helpful, mm -hmm. and sometimes they weren't. Very hard. Very hard. They had to trust God. They had to trust God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yes. I'm wondering why they did that. Well, because that's one of the things you got to do. Oh, yeah. You got to follow Jesus. Yes. That's right. Follow Jesus mm -hmm. even when it's hard. That's right. Even. But guess what? What? You don't have to do it alone. Oh, good. Yeah. Jesus is with you all the way. Jesus is always with me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So just remember that. Okay. He even knows how many hairs you have on your head. He does? He does. He put them all there himself. That's a lot of hairs. Oh, yes. I'm running out, so yeah. I can count them easier. No. But, uh. Jesus can count my hairs. He can count them all. Oh, yeah. And. Yes. Let me tell you this. Yeah. I love chickens. Yes. And chickens are my friends. Yeah. I am more important, and you are too. Yeah. And all of you too. We are more important to God than all the chickens in the world. Wow. Mm-hmm. So we can follow Jesus mm -hmm. even when it's hard. Yep. Because God cares about us. That's right. He loves us he, so much. He does. That's right. All right, well, I'm going to go try to find a boat. Oh, I have one around back. Oh, you do? Yeah, not sure how far you're going to go. Okay, but, well. But uh, you can try. Okay, well, I'm going to go for a little boating. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go have some tea. Okay. Have fun. See you next week, Granny Annie. Yep, next week. Okay. I have two activity ideas for you today. Both of them have to do with birds. In the story today, we learned that Jesus said that you are more important than the sparrows, that he cares about you and that he knows you and he is with you even when things are hard. And so birds are a great reminder that God cares about you. So today for our first activity, I was thinking that we could make some bird feeders. Now, I don't have the supplies here with me, but I was thinking that maybe at home you have them there. What you'll need is a pine cone and peanut butter and some bird seeds. What you do is you take the pine cone, you roll it in the peanut butter, and then you roll it in the bird seeds. You take that outside and you'll need one more thing, some string to hang it from a tree or from your window so that you can watch the birds come and enjoy that food. When you see the birds, it'll remind you that God cares about you. He sees you and he is with you even when it's hard. The second idea I have for us today has to do with some feathers. So I have a couple different kinds of feathers. I just found them here in the resource room. It's stuff we had here already. Maybe you have some at home or maybe you can find some from actual birds outside. Um, and you can take those feathers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them onto a piece of paper. Glue doesn't always work very well with going on the paper um, and the feathers. It seems to stick off. Maybe white glue might work. But I am going to put some feathers onto a piece of paper. 
Just a very, very simple craft. You can draw the feathers if you don't have any, or if you have some, you can add them in however you want. You could draw a bird and add the feathers. I'm just gonna add them there like that, and then I'm gonna write the words, God cares about me. So that maybe I can hang this on my fridge or in the mirror in my room or somewhere that's going to remind me that I, when I'm feeling afraid or when things are hard, I remember that I'm not alone, that God is with me. God cares about me and God cares about you. All right, that's all I have for an activity ideas for today. I hope you have a great week, everyone, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.